Lesson 47, Creating Users, Groups, and Catalog Permissions. This lesson walks you through the process of creating users, groups, and catalog permissions. To proceed with this lesson, you will need to log in to the Oracle WebLogic Administration Console server by following the URL which you saved for the administration too. Your login page should look as this one shown here, WebLogic Server 11G Administration Console. Log in using the Oracle Business Intelligence Administration User WebLogic and password admin123. Recall that WebLogic is not case sensitive but the password is case sensitive and the A in the password admin123 is uppercase. We'll go ahead and log in. And click login. Takes a few moments. In the Oracle WebLogic Server Administration Console, you will go to the left pane and select the security rooms from the left side and then click My Room, which you intend to configure. On the settings page for my room, move from the configuration tab to users and groups and click on users and groups. Then under users and group, you will have two tabs, one users and another one groups. Click on the tab that says new below the customize this table. This opens a new page for creating a new user. On the create new user page, you will enter the name student. This is the name of the new user we're creating. And uh, you can put a short description as you will notice this is not a required field. So we'll go ahead and skip that and we'll leave this as the default authenticator. And what we want to do is for this class, we'll be using one and the same password throughout. So we do not want to change at this point. We we want to use the same admin123 password. So you go ahead and type in the admin123, remembering that the A is uppercase. And then you click OK. This is the new user created. Notice that under messages, you have a message which states that user was created successfully. And as a warning, do not attempt to use the same username as well as the same password meaning that the username should be different from your password otherwise you get an error message and you will not be able to create your user so make sure that your username does not equal to your password at any point in time when you are creating new users we will repeat the preceding steps in creating a new group and we want to create a new group called bi developer so you go back to the users and groups tab then instead of going to the users tab this time click on groups and then create a new group by clicking on the new then enter bi developer and leave the default authenticator as is and go ahead and click on the new group has been created, BI Developer, and that's what we've been wanting to, to do. Next, we want to associate the new group, BI Developer, which we just created not too long ago, to specific privileges. To do so, we will have to open the BI Developer group by clicking on it. Then change the tab from General to Membership. And then choose administrators, BI administrators, and move over to parent groups chosen. Then you click on save and return to users and groups tab again. And this time we do not want to do anything more than what we've done for BI developer group. We want to change the tab from groups to users. So you click on users. And then open the student 
or the newly created users and then associate the student to the BI developer group. So we will change the tab from general to groups. Then search for BI developer and then move from parent groups available to parent group chosen. And click save. And the settings updated successfully for student. That takes care of associating the group to a specific privilege, which in this case we did BI administrator. And then we also associated student to the group BI developer. To perform the remaining parts of configuring the newly created group and users, we'll have to log out of the Oracle WebLogic Server Administration Console. And then we'll go to the Enterprise Manager. Then login as WebLogic and select login. Takes a few moments. From the target navigation pane, open business intelligence and select core application. Right click on core application, security, and then this displays the two different rows that are available. You have application policies as well as application roles. This is the first method of displaying the default application roles available. You can click outside into the white space. The next method is from the target navigation pane, you open WebLogic domain and select BI Foundation domain. This allows you to display the security menu by selecting or by right clicking on BI Foundation, then selecting security to display the sub menu. So this also displays the default application roles available. So these are the two ways that you can get to these roles. Again, click in the white space. Once you've cleared that submenu, you may choose to open the application role using the business intelligence option and then click on application roles once the submenu appears. Right click on core application, security, then choose application roles. The application roles window appears. Application roles are the roles used by security aware applications that are specific to the application. These roles are seeded by applications in single global policy store when the applications are registered. These are also application roles that are created in the context of end users accessing the application. Under search, select application strip to begin your search and then change the option from OBI to no application strip and then change it back to OBI. This activates the create button for a new application log. Click on create button and add detail for the role that you are creating and then associate a user to the to the new created group bi developer so we'll go ahead and click on the create button the application role we want to create is student and if we want we can give a short description just to help whoever comes after us to view what roles we've created. So we can just say student with administrative 
privileges. In the display name box, you want to repeat the name for the new row student. Next, we want to associate this new row with the new user that we created in the Web Logic Administration Console. To do that, we will have to map the user to this row by clicking on Add Row. Then you have application row, group or user. And recall we had created a user called student. So you type student here. And then when you click search, you will have student appear. You select student and then you click OK. Then once you click OK, the new row that you created displays here. And then you can just go ahead and click OK. Notice that a message, a new application row student has been added, appears whenever you perform the last action. Next, we want to open the repository in online mode and then perform some additional configuration steps. So you go ahead and bring up your RPD and then open online when you punch in the password for web logic which is by this time should be fully aware it's admin123 notice that the prefix has changed to online to perform additional configuration states click on manage then choose identity Once the identity window opens, you click on BA, repository, then application roles. Then you will go here to actions, click on actions, then synchronize application roles. A new application role has been added to your listing of application roles in there. RPD. Next, double click on BI Administrator. On the Checkout Objects window, click Checkout. Notice that under BI Administrator we have two members Student, which is what we newly created, and Web Logic, which is what we've been using all along. And these two are also members of the group. BI author and you click OK and return to the identity manager window. Next we want to complete the setup process so we'll close the identity manager window and then we'll check in our changes. Do you wish to check global consistency? Yes. There is a warning Warnings are okay. It says the features in database system DB update me do not match the defaults. This can cause query problem. That is fine. This is just a warning, not an error. If it was an error, would have attempted to fix this. But this is a default RPD which comes with the installation. So we do not have much control of uh, the different configurations which are set up in there. Then you can just click on close. And then save your RPD. Then you can click on file and then close. So, in order for your online changes to take effect, you will have to manually restart each non master Oracle BI server instance in the cluster. Okay. Then you minimize this and you log out, out of Enterprise Manager and then logging into analytics so type in web logic the password is auto populated click sign in takes a few moments once logged in into analytics 
you land on the home page then click on catalog next to the home button at the bottom left locate permissions you can drag this portion over locate permissions and click on permissions brings up the new window on the new on the permission new permissions window click on add users or roles and search for the new created users which is student student is allocated located then move student over to selected members and we want set permissions to full control or you can change depending on what you choose if you create a user you can choose not to give them any access but we want student to have full control so we'll leave it at full control and then click ok and you'll notice that uh, student has been granted full control so if you want to allow student con student full control as well as additional controls you can pick these two options but for this purpose we will just leave it at that and then click ok once you've clicked ok we want to log out of business intelligence analytics and then attempt to log in again but this time as student the password is admin123 if you recall when we created student while we were in the Oracle Business Intelligence Web Logic Administration Console, and you click on sign in, and we've logged in as student this time. As you will notice under my account, a few words on permissions. There is what is known as permission hierarchy in Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition 11G. At the highest level, you have the BI administrator who can do anything. Then below that you have the BI author who can create analysis and dashboards. Then below that you have the BI analyst who can create analysis and view dashboards. Then below the BI analyst you have the BI consumer who can view analysis and dashboards. And notice that at the lowest level you have BI consumer and above that is the BI analyst. The BI analyst automatically inherits the privileges of the BI consumer. And above the BI analyst is the BI author. The BI author automatically inherits the privileges of BI analyst. Same goes with the BI administrator. The BI administrator inherits the privileges of the BI author, thus being able to do everything that every other role can do in uh, um, Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. You can log out. And just as a word of clarity, this requirement often comes up when there is a need for users to be able to create new analysis. But someone else then publishes those to dashboards. To create and configure this application role, after first creating a matching LDAP group that you will map to it, you will need to do three things. Create the role and reconfigure the inheritance hierarchy in the policy store so that it inherits the permissions of the BI consumer role and the BI author role in turn inherits its permissions. The second thing is reconsider, reconfigure presentation server catalog privileges so that the new BI developer role becomes the lowest level role that can access the analysis editor with the existing BI author role then inheriting this privilege. To create this additional role, you can either create a new role from scratch or base it on an existing one such as BI author as we've done already in the preceding states.